So we talked about free transform, and I just wanted to bring up uh, one more thing here. We've got a pudgy little squirrel that we're dealing with here. <laughs> and when you're dealing with layers and resizing and free transform as we have been, one of the best retouching techniques in the business that I actually learned from a good friend named Kevin Ames. He wrote a book called The Art of Photographing Women. And he taught me this trick, and he, uh, I use it a lot. And it's a little super slimmer, okay? So we're gonna double click this layer to, so that we can do things to it. And I'm gonna summon free transform again. And what you're gonna do is up here in the width field, you're gonna double click it and you're gonna type in 95%. And it's just the tiniest little little slimming, and if you restrain yourself to only slimming by 5%, nobody is going to be able to tell that the retouch was done. It's going to knock about five pounds off of your subject, even our chunky little squirrel here. See, I dare not use this on any pictures that I own because friends and family would kill me dead. <laughs> squirrel safe. <laughs> so then what you can do is simply press return, and again, because that's happening on its own layer, okay? So if you've got other layers in the document, let's say this was you know, a lady's photo or a man's photo, and you had other color correction and all kinds of stuff going on, you would do this only on the image layer, and it only affects you know, just that one part without harming anything else. And now to get rid of the transparent side, you quickly look over both shoulders, make sure nobody's watching, and you use that image trim command that we used earlier, set to transparent pixels. And now our squirrel is five pound lighter than he used to be. So that's a fun little, little slimmer for you. And I tell you what, let's take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're actually going to create this image right here, which is a true grayscale image. So that's our original. So we're going to use layers and the paintbrush to actually colorize a grayscale image. So we'll pick up with that when we get back.